If you're using the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, you already know this is an amazing 3D printer. But did you know that you can make it even better? Today, I'm gonna show you guys my top seven favorite upgrades for the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini 3D printer. And these are cool things you can 3D print yourself that'll level up your machine and make 3D printing even more enjoyable. And yes, anyone can print these, beginners all the way to advanced 3D print enthusiasts. This is a great way to start customizing your setup without spending a ton of money. So grab your 3D printer and let's get started. So the first upgrade on the A1 Mini is known as a poop deflector. And you might be asking yourself, what the heck is a poop deflector? So once you start 3D printing with this machine, you'll notice that it starts to spit out the poops and they go flying sideways. So by printing one of these poop deflectors and putting it on the machine like so here, just click it in. Now when the poops get kicked out, they bounce against this and they fall into the poop basket. Now if you do a search on Maker World, you'll notice there's a ton of different designs and honestly, they all do the same exact thing. All I'm saying is this is a crucial upgrade for the A1 Mini. By the way guys, I don't think I introduced myself. My name is Chris and this is 3D Print Dude. I'm completely obsessed with 3D printing and if you like it too, chances are we'd be good friends. Please subscribe. All right guys, the second most important upgrade to the A1 Mini is the poop basket. Yes, this catches the poops here. Without the basket, these things are just going to fly everywhere and nobody wants that. It's a super basic print. If you get on Maker World, there's a gazillion different designs. I personally kind of like this one. But yeah, there's a ton of different designs. But yeah, it's a poop bucket. What else is there to say? On to the next. You may have noticed some of these Pokemons that we've been painting over here on the table. I also have some videos on how to paint 3D prints super basic and cheap. They turn out great. I mean, look at the finish on this. Isn't that just so cool? Ganga! Next on our list is the third upgrade for the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. And yes, things are just heating up. So this next upgrade is filament clips. And you might be asking yourself, what the heck are filament clips? So after you've been 3D printing for a while now, when you disconnect filament, you realize that the filament goes everywhere. And you may even worry about it getting tangled, right? Which is not cool at all. That's where the filament clip comes in to save us. All we have to do here is put this on the side here and it just clicks in, right? Then all we have to do is push down the filament into the clip and now it's, it stays like this. That's what you call efficiency, right? You don't get any tangled filament. The filament clip upgrade is here to save your day. And that brings us to today's sponsor, Filament Clips. No, I'm kidding, that's not actually a thing. There will be no sponsors. Okay guys, but for real, you can print like a hundred of these once on the build plate and they're going to save your life with filament storage. I use them on pretty much every roll of filament. Thumbs up for filament clips. And for those of you wondering, yes, I'll be putting all the files down in the description or the comments. All right, so this next upgrade is this handle right here on the machine. That thing looks pretty cool, right? So this is a super easy print. And even if you're not gonna be like lifting your machine a bunch, it just looks a lot cooler than like what it was. So the first purpose of this upgrade is actually to be able to lift your 3D printer, which I hate doing if I'm being honest. But maybe you're gonna bring this to a trade show or bring it to your aunt's house to show her how cool 3D printing is. It's just an all around cool upgrade. And you might be wondering to yourself, do I have to print this in something other than PLA? This is printed in PLA right here. I can personally say that I 3D printed this in PLA and it's doing just fine and it's super sturdy. So don't be afraid to print it in PLA. The installation of this upgrade was actually pretty simple. All you have to do is take the screws out of the old top and remove the cap like thing that's on there and then put the handle on there and then put the new hex screws or whatever you call them in there. Or I guess it's Allen screws. And there's even a hole at the top here to let your wrench slide through it. Just to let you know, the toolkit that came with your printer has an Allen wrench in there. That's the exact one you need to use to take out the screws to remove that. And that brings us to our next upgrade. This upgrade is pretty awesome. This is known as the small little toolkit upgrade. This is essentially a small box that you can put all the tools that came with your Bamboo Lab A1 Mini 3D printer machine inside of. And what's really cool here is this exact print right here it fits right here and you can actually undo that screw right there and put it there and tighten it. I'm preferring not to do that just because I don't need the small little toolkit to be on the printer. 
And again, some of these 3D print upgrades aren't gonna be for you, but these are some of the most generic ones that everyone's doing for this printer. You might be thinking to yourself, oh, that's corny, and yeah, I get it, but these are the most popular ones. This next upgrade is known as the scraper. And if you can't tell, this is breaking technology. And what we use this for is, I know, get ready, we're actually gonna use it to scrape. All right, so that print isn't done yet, so we can't scrape that. But actually, I have something in the P1S here. This print is actually from a Venusaur. And what you could do here, just use the scraper, and uh, we just kind of go in here with the build plate. Oh wow, this print just broke loose. But you kind of get the idea, right? Here, we'll test it on the tester up here. Watch how easy this works. See that? It takes it off this textured build plate great. For those of you wondering what this is, it is the top flower to a Venusaur. It's that part where it like sits on top. So the next upgrade is on the build plate printing. Can you guess what it is yet? We still have 35 minutes to print. So while we wait for that print to finish, I figured I'd use this as a therapy session because I can't afford therapy anymore. Why is it so expensive? For real though, guys, why is 3D printing so addicting? I now have four filament dryers, three different 3D printers. I'm pretty sure my old lady's gonna leave me if these boxes just keep reappearing here. But for real, hit me up in the comments. Why do you think 3D printing is so addicting? It's completely ran over all my other hobbies. I think it's because we're like creating things, right? Like look at this bowl, like I just get to print this? I don't know, hit me up in the comments. All right, so our next upgrade for the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini is a camera upgrade. So if you know anything about the A1 Mini, it's that the camera is kind of lackluster. That was me being nice. The camera flat out kind of sucks. So really the best option as far as upgrading cameras is to get an auxiliary camera. I like to use the Wise cams just because they're dirt cheap and they have a good picture quality and they also have a huge ecosystem on the phone apps and everything. To be honest with you, my entire house is covered with Wise cam and I can pull live footage up on my phone whenever I want. That and it records activity or movement or sounds on the cameras. Okay, it sounds like I'm trying to sell you guys on these cameras. The links will be in the description. So here's the upgrade. I 3D printed this camera holder mount. And what's really cool here is the Wise Cam just literally slides right in here. And then this slides on just like so. And here we have it. We have a fully mounted customizable camera. And these cameras are powered by micro USB. So they're super easy to just plug in. And what's cool is I can get on my phone at any time and check the live footage of my 3D prints. I can do recordings and it's super high quality footage. And the last upgrade for the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, well, I'm still putting it together. These are little chain like protectors for the cords and you can do it for the cord up here and you can also do it for the cords back here. And they also have little covers that kind of cover the, the plastic plugs here. See like this right here. So it seems to be a pretty popular modification or upgrade on the cords here, but I don't think I'm going to be doing it. Just because this head here goes back and forth and I don't trust these little plastic links to flex, like what if one of these failed or something? So I know it's one of the most popular upgrades, but I don't think I'm going to be doing this to my printer. Hit me up in the comments. Would you do this upgrade or are you going to leave this one out? Well, there you have it guys. My top seven upgrades that you can do to the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. Now that our 3D printers are modified and decked out, let me know in the comments which upgrade did you like the most. And please consider subscribing.